Hey everybody, it's Coach Nadia here from My Life and Fitness. This is going to be the first workout in a very long time on this channel. And today, as promised, I'm bringing you the first workout in your 15 full body workouts series. If you haven't already downloaded the ebook, I'll link it in the information box. It's on my website. You can go to mylifeandfitness.com slash blog to check it out. We're going to start off with a core workout. Only four exercises, and we're going to do them twice through. Your interval is set at 50-10. And I'm going to be referring to my ebook here on my laptop. And I'm just using Clean Timer. So if you'd like to do the workout on your own, uh, it's Clean Timer on the Google Play Store on Android. All right. We're going to get started in about 15 seconds, and we'll start off with a simple plank and shoulder tap. I want you to start with your wrists underneath your shoulders. And if you'd like to modify, you start on your knees. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna alternate tapping one shoulder and the other. Okay, lifting one hand off the floor. Your tummy should be drawn in. I want you to try to avoid letting your hips go back behind you. You wanna think about your body making a triangle from your hands to your shoulders to your knees. And if you wanna take this up a notch, get your knees off the floor, okay? We got about 30 seconds left. Let's do this. I'm going to try to reduce the amount that your hips are shifting side to side. Good. And don't forget to breathe, of course. Whew. Pick the wrong day to wear long sleeves. And if I'm hitting my mic, I apologize. My shoulder's really close to it. Last 10 seconds. Oh, you got this. If you need to take your feet a little bit wider to make it easier, you can. Three, two, one. And stop, bring your knees down. We're coming back to hands and knees for some quadruped hip circles. Okay, here's the move. I'm gonna preview it and then we're gonna get started. You're gonna take it around like this. Let's go. Go ahead and make that circle one way. We're gonna take it around. And about halfway, I'm gonna have you switch sides. So we're just warming up the hips. This is a great way to engage through the glutes, the hip flexors and even through your abdominals and your chest. In a few seconds, we'll switch directions, okay? Take it around. And how about you, but I'm already starting to feel heat in my body from this move. We got about another 10 seconds left. Then we'll take a 10 second break before we switch to that second side. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, we're hitting the second side. I'll flip around, although you don't need to. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna take it around forward first. If my mic falls off, it's because my hips, <laughs> my hips don't lie, right? <laughs> Good. And see if you can Mix it up by making smaller circles or bigger circles. I had an injury in this hip, so my circles on this side are a little smaller than the other. Let's go ahead and switch directions. We're gonna take it around and back. More likely than not, your sides won't be totally even, and that's okay. We kind of work to even out the sides with a little bit of yoga and stretching. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. Next up, we're gonna go into some oblique heel taps. So what I want you to do is lay down on your mat. We'll lift the shoulders up off the floor. And I want you to go ahead and reach toward your heels. Now, my arms are like freakishly long, so I can reach my ankles, no problem. Now, I don't want your shoulders to be like scrubbing the floor. So see if you can get your shoulders up off the ground. If this is too much to hold, then I want you to come down. You're gonna to go to one side, come down, lift up as you go to the other. And if you're having no problem here, then I want you to stay lifted, okay? If you need to support your head and neck, go ahead and put your hands behind your head. Good, keep drifting from side to side and breathe. I wish I could see my timer right now. Oh, my oblique. Here we go, three, two, one, and stop. We got one more final move to go and that's called the kickboxer crunch. 
I want you to lay on your back. Again, we're gonna start with the feet planted. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna kick it up and draw it down. Tummy stays nice and tight each and every time. Good, you got this. You should already feel those abdominals engaging from that crunch and also the tops of your legs. Those are your quadriceps. If you wanna take it up a notch, then I'll have you give me a full sit up. Oh, fail, full sit up, full sit up. I swear I worked out. <clears throat> if you need to keep it down here, you got it. Oh man, I'm really feeling this today. Okay, you got this. I think it's about 10 seconds left. Alternate that kick. Two, one, and stop. We're gonna go right back to the top. Anytime if you need to take a little breather, you can. We're gonna come up to the toes. Remember your modifications on your knees. You're gonna alternate tapping one shoulder and the other. Keep that tummy drawn in as tight as you can. If at any point you start to feel like it's too much, like your back's hurting, then just lower your knees down. You got this. Alternate that shoulder tap. Now just know the slower you go, the harder it's going to be. You got this. That means you got a little bit more stabilization in your core. Almost there, remember to breathe. You got 10 seconds left. <sighs> Whew. You probably can't see it, but I'm sweating right now. Three, two, one, and stop. We already did the hip circles on both sides, so we're gonna switch to those heel taps right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift it up, side to side. Oh man, every once in a while, if you need it, bring it down and then lift it back up. You got this. Try to avoid letting your chin drop in towards your chest. Keep your chin lifted and look up towards the sky instead of looking down. And of course, breathe it out. You got this. My abdominals right now are on fire. And I wish I could see my timer. I know that doesn't make the time go by faster, but sometimes it feels like it. Three, two, one. And stop. We got that kickboxer crunch to finish it off. Okay. Are you guys ready? You got this. Three, two, one. Let's go. I want you to feel that fire in your belly. So even though sometimes you feel like you wanna stop, I want you to keep going. Unless of course you're feeling dizzy or out of breath, that's a good cue to take a break. But if it's just a burn, I want you to see if you can challenge yourself to stick with it till the end of the interval, okay? Once that buzzer beeps, it's all over, okay? And I have faith in you. Come on. Mm. Remember that option to sit up if you need it. Three, two, one, and stop. Oh. Whew. I'm feeling that belly right now. So what do you think? Did you like this core routine? I did it twice through, but if you're feeling like you need a little bit more or if you're doing this alone for your workout today, feel free to rewind this video and do it again. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and feel free to head on over to my Facebook group. I'll put the link in the comments below for you. I publish all sorts of content, that's blogs, uh, memes, uh, videos on how to improve your nutrition, your fitness, and your emotional and spiritual wellness. Until next time, this is Nadia. Ciao.